hear comforting sounds of children having fun at the health clinic in Kutapalong, home to the world's largest refugee camp. But it's hard to imagine the atrocities that many of these children have witnessed when they fled the Burmese army. At the beginning it was like they couldn't speak because they had this horrific story and also the, uh, the, this troublesome uh, when they were coming during the ways um, from the Myanmar to Bangladesh. So they had lots of things. But nowadays, slowly, slowly, they have the very good coping mechanism and strategies and also we think we are working for this resilience. The new program encourages peer-to-peer -peer support, allowing the children to open up about what's bothering them. <coughs> Games like imitating animals while introducing themselves helps break the ice especially for the children suffering from anxiety. We come to study here and leaders train us with messages. First, we have to make ourselves comfortable and not be depressed. Secondly, if we are not happy or have something stuck in our head, we need to speak to adults to release it. Message three, if we need help, not to be ashamed to ask for support. We are all humans and need support. Don't hold it in. Speak out and release your mind. Everyone has been emotionally affected by the past. For 13-year-old Mohammed Rochelle, it's important that grown-ups not yell at the kids. I want to speak to the adults and tell them not to speak harshly to the kids because it might affect them and make them upset. Rohingya teens who have been chosen to lead the therapeutic sessions focus on coming to terms with daily hardships without dwelling on the past. Many children have mental health issues. They can't eat or sleep. They can only think of what happened in the past in Myanmar. Some of the children's parents were killed along with their brothers and sisters. They are depressed and traumatized. As a new generation of Rohingya youth struggles to cope, aid groups are hoping to increase awareness and treatment of mental illness manifesting itself now and in the future. Steve Sanford for VOA News in Cox's Bazaar, Bangladesh.